Hi guys, John Richards here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to tell the, uh, talk about how to get fit and healthy in three months. Can you get fit and healthy in three months? I think you can make some real big progress. And I'm going to tell you how. You know, there's a great book that I read many years ago called The 12 Week Year. And The 12 Week Year is basically based on um, it's called periodization. You don't you, you know why uh, a lot of people, they really don't start working on their goals till later in the year or close to the end of the year because they know they have all 12 months. You know, so October, November, December is always the biggest months of the year. It's like if you have a weight loss goal or getting healthy goal, you know, you, you usually wait. You know, hey, I had a bad January, man, I got 11 more months. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you set yourself on a path uh, and a chance to really get healthy in the next three months and then just improve it for the rest of the year. So the first thing you want to do is you want to decide. You got to decide. If, if you haven't made the decision and you don't believe you can, you won't. You know, I don't care how out of shape you are, how overweight you are, you're not going to change anything until you decide. I can remember, like I said, it was 20 Five years ago when I made that decision, I was massively overweight. I felt like crap. I felt terrible. And I finally joined the gym and in 12, in 12 weeks, which is three months, I was able to lose 50 pounds. This is why I know this can happen. I was able to lose 50 pounds and I lost 25% body fat. And the first step for me is I had to decide. I, I made a decision to do this. Okay. Now the second step was I had to write down an outcome goal. My outcome goal was whatever that weight loss that you don't want to just do a bunch of exercise and eat clean and really not know where you're headed. You know, you're going to not know when you end up there, right? So you want to sit down and be realistic but a stretch. And so if you think you can easily lose 10 pounds, say I'm going to lose 15 pounds. And the way you write that outcome goal is present positive tense which means as if, as if it's already happened. So in my case, like let's say right now I'm working toward a goal of uh, March 31st, 2020. I weigh 230 pounds by March, uh, March 31st, 2020. So in my mind, it's already happened. But I put it in writing. You have nine times more chance of hitting a goal that's in writing. Don't just let it rattle around your head. Keep it yourself. Make sure that it's in writing. Make sure it's something you know you want, because if not, you've not made the decision, okay? So put it in writing. The next thing you want to do is you want to identify three process goals, okay? So what are those, okay? Nutrition is 90% of weight loss. So if you're trying to lose weight, you got to get the nutrition in check, you know? So in my case, like right now, I eat clean six days per week allow per plan allowing a free meal on Saturday. Now, I know when I allow myself a free day, it gets a little carried away, so I got to control that and contain it, okay? So that's that's my process goal and how it's written, so I look at that and I know if I hadn't done that, I can't check that box for the day, all right? And then the second process goal for me, and, and you should have a workout goal, is I work out with weights six days per week, um, Monday through Friday, 6 to 7.30 a.m., and then Saturdays, 8 to 9.30 a.m. I get that detailed because I can't leave it to chance. You know, if I say I'm going to work out and then something happens and later in the day something happens, all of a sudden I'm down to three days a week. You want to be very detailed, you know, specific about your actions. So I work out, in your case, it might be three days a week. I remember when I first started 25 years ago, it was four days a week. You know, so whatever that is, put it in writing. And then write down your third process. Go in my case, I complete 30 minutes of cardio after my weight workout six days per week. I don't believe you should have more than three process goals. There's something called channel capacity where your mind can only hold on to three things. And, you know, that's what you want to focus on. One, two, three, overwhelm. You know, so you want to have three things. Most important part of this is you want to schedule. Like I said, my workouts are 6 to 7.30. I was talking to my nephew yesterday, and he's missing his weight workouts because he's not scheduled it. So the most important part of this, you've got to schedule it. 
Schedule your meals. Know exactly, hey, I'm going to eat at 9, I'm going to eat at noon, I'm going to eat at 3, I'm going to eat at 6, whatever it is. I know for me, I break my fast at 1 o'clock, okay? I know for me that I, uh, that I have a protein drink at 3.30. I know for me at 6 o'clock, I, I do another meal, and then at 6.45, I do my last protein drink. That's my process, that's my meal plan. And, you know, that's something you should really do. So make sure you schedule it. So again, you got to decide this is something you want to do. And you can do it in 90 days. You can do it in, in three months. You can. You can you're not going to be exactly where you want to be lifetime. But you can make some big time inroads to get there. You know, but if you sit there and think, well, if I can't do this in three months, I don't really want to do it. Well, that's just crazy. You know, if you want to get healthy and if you want to get fit, in the next three months to that, to, you know, tomorrow's too late. Start today and sit down and decide you want to do this. Create an outcome goal, create three process goals, and then schedule it. Hey guys, if you like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Tell me you liked it. If you want to comment, ask me any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. I, I kind of know a lot in this area. And then uh, lastly, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then click the bell notification on the side so you get notified of any future videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day.